What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and of course today we're going to open up the uh, brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! 20th Anniversary Legend Collection for you guys. So yeah, I've been really excited about this product because this is like one of the best products to ever come out for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm not just saying that, because seriously, this set is awesome. I have no idea what form we'll get this set in. I feel like we're going to get it this year in English in, in some form, maybe with a different name. But anyway, uh, this is the set that includes, of course, new support for different like movie archetypes. So that means new cubic monsters or new cubic cards, as well as new malefic cards. There are also the uh, 20th anniversary cards too that Kazuki Takahashi actually drew himself. So we have like Blue Eyes Alternative or Ultimate Alternative Dragon, Red Eyes Alternative, uh, a new Dark Magician Girl. But basically, yeah, each pack that is in this includes two Super Rares, an Ultra Rare, and a Secret Rare. And the Secret can even be a 20th anniversary Secret Rare. I have no idea how easy they are to get, but we all know how uh, 20th anniversary Secret Rares, you know, how cool they look, so that's what I'm hoping for. So let's go on ahead, open this up, see what we can get, because there's 15 packs in this. Also, too, you may have noticed, of course, I got this from Jokarad.com. They uh, made a new playmat, which I think looks really cool with blue eyes, and of course, that's where I bought this box. So check them out, link in the description. That's where I get pretty much everything that I open up that's Japanese, so I get it from them. But they also sent me a playmat to show my videos, and... It looks cool. I like it, I mean, because blue eyes, I mean, <laughs> you really can't go wrong. Let's see. Yeah, I've been so excited about this set, because there are some insane reprints on this, too. I feel like we're going to get some kind of, something close to this, in a way, though, this summer. It would be my guess. Nothing's been confirmed, of course. And remember, I have everything next to me, too, in case I forget a name, because more than likely, I will. <laughs> See, there's like that twin tornado, it's like twin duster or something like that, I forget. But yeah, it's like a, by the way, the supers and ultras are parallel supers and ultras, so extra shiny. <laughs> so that looks cool. Then we have a Malefic Blue Eyes, or Sin, I guess was the archetype for them, instead of Malefic. Of course, they had to change that. Ooh, even a, a, a Cyber and Dragon. Oh, that looks cool. So that's our ultra rare. And then we have a secret rare. Um, What's the name of this one? Because I do not remember it. Um, it is Dark Sacrifice. So yeah, I believe that's one of the new ones, too. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I like a lot of these new cards anyway. I mean, I guess we'll separate the secrets. But there's even, like, some new cards for Dark Magician in this, obviously, which is pretty cool. I'm, I'm always a sucker for that kind of stuff. I'll admit it. I don't care. <laughs> I love it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's uh, Chaos Form. That's the name. Then I uh, want the Cubics. I think that's Vulcan. Red Reboot. Oh, that looks cool. I think ours, yeah, ours is Super Rare. And then we have a uh, bond with teacher and student. Isn't that right? Yeah, bond between teacher and student. That's the name. Remember this card from the anime? Uh, I think the effect is kind of interesting. I think it's basically a reverse Sage's Stone, if I'm not mistaken. Either way, looks really cool. I like that. That was one of the cards I wanted mainly for artwork. Again, if it's Dark Magician, Red Eyes, or Blue Eyes, I, I want the card for it. <laughs> I'll admit it. Doesn't matter if it's competitive or what. Oh, it's like Crystal Avatar, I think. I th that was from the Dark Side packs, if I remember. Then uh, Kaiser Force Raider. That looks really cool. Then, oh, I, I forgot Tempest was in this. So yeah, you even get a Dragon Ruler, which for Japan is at one. Not for us, though. And then we even got, uh, oh yeah, the Neos, um, the Warrior version of Neos. What is his name? I know he was in the movie. Yeah, it's Elemental Hero Neos Knight. I had to look it up. I feel bad having to look it up because it's Knight in the name, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's in Bonds Beyond Time. I knew where it was from. I just never remember its whole name. Yeah, those are regular secret rares so far. Okay. Making sure I'm not passing a 20th anniversary. A Lord of Darkness. Hey, that looks pretty cool. It's always a good reprint. <laughs> then another one of the Cubics. Um, it's like Crystal Dragon. That might actually be a new card. Let me check. Yeah, it, it's uh, Stardust Mirage. That's the name of it. So, yeah, even a new Stardust card is in this. That's pretty neat looking, too. And then we got a secret rare one of the Cubics. Oh, that's cool. I, I forget which cubic it is. I, I don't have all their names memorized, obviously. But uh, that is really neat looking. I like that. Main things I want, though, from this set are, like, the new cards, which that's what I'm pretty sure we're going to get this year. At the very least, is the new cards. I don't know if we'll get all these cool reprints. But, yeah, we'll see. One for one. Then uh, Kiwi Magician Girl. Uh, Link Karibo. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. That's a pretty good reprint for them. And... Then we have uh, one of the new Malefic cards, actually, too. This is like a new, um, like the new gear, I guess. It's Malefic Paradox gear. So it's a little bit different from the, the original one. 
And uh, from what I've seen, the new support actually looks good for Malefix. Like, we might actually be able to use them now, you know, a lot better than we could. So that is, that's pretty cool. I like that, seeing that in person. But they have, like, I think one card that basically is like, hey, summon all your Malefics now. <laughs> so that might be pretty interesting. Mystical Space Typhoon, can't go wrong with that. Hadn't seen one in a while, though, either. Cyber Dragon. Then, oh, Destrutto. Oh, man, that looks really good. Oh, that is awesome. I wish we, we had an Ultra. I guess we got a Super Air from an OTS pack. And, oh, and another Dark Side Dimensions card, I believe. Yeah, that's one of the different trap cards. You know what? I'll, I'll look it up real quick. It is a Cubic Rebirth. That's what it is. I thought it was for Cubics. I feel like, you know what? Might as well take the time so you guys can, uh, you know, know which cards I'm talking about. That's what you're supposed to do in these kind of openings. Let's see, Malefic uh, Claw Stream, which that's pretty easy to know the name, right? It's basically in English. Then another one of the Cubics. Sin Cross. Oh, I think that's one of the new ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, Malefic Divide is actually, I guess, our uh, translated name. That's probably will be because, again, they're not going to be called Sins for us, obviously, because the originals weren't. And... Then we got uh, the new uh, Soldier of Stone. That's what it is. Yeah, it's like the, the one from the movie, basically. You guys remember? It's kind of cool. Because they did that with a few cards. Even like Kaiser Horse Raider. It's like a new version of Horse Raider, obviously. So. Another one that Cubic. Then a uh, Berry Magician Girl. Man, they're so shiny. <laughs> and uh, we also have another uh, Malefic card. Uh, Sin Tune is the name of this one. What will be the translated name? It is a Malefic Tomb. Okay. <laughs> well, the other one was different, so I figured this one might be too. And another one, uh, Stardust Mirage. That does look neat. All right, we still have plenty of packs left. I wonder if it's like one 20th secret per box. I, I wonder what the odds are, because I'm hoping to get a few, <laughs> but we'll see. I know there's some really tough ones to get. So first off, um, I think this is for Cubic, so I remember right... Then uh, that Karibo, yeah, Dark Side Dimensions, Mahad, even. That's pretty cool. And then we have another secret rare. This one, I think, is Cubics, right? It is a Cubic Dharma, I think is how you say that. So that's neat. I, I thought it was because, well, a bunch of cubes on the card. So it was kind of an easy guess. Pretty interesting, too. I still wonder if we're going to actually see people being able to use Malefics and Cubics after we get these two. That'd be pretty fun. Because Cubix actually had a lot of power. There's another one of their cards. Crystal Dragon. Then uh, Lemon Magician Girl. And we have another one of uh, Link Karibo. As uh, a secret rare this time. So that's still cool looking. I like that. It's a different rarity. Come on. I want to get one of the anniversary cards though. I want to get one of the ones that Kazuki Takahashi actually drew. So let, let's get one of them. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Malefic World. Then uh, V-Jom, remember that one, pretty easy. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Blue-Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, that's its full name. And then we got, oh, there it is, we actually got one. Uh, this is uh, Red-Eyes Alternative Dragon. I believe that's the full name, right? I want to double check myself so I don't make a, a dumb mistake. Yeah, Red-Eyes Alternative Black Dragon, I guess, is the full name. That is so awesome looking. So yeah, this is actually like the original anniversary pack, how they were drawn. That That's what happened in this set, basically. That's what I'm saying. I think at the very least, we're going to at least get like the new cards that he drew, like in a pack or something, like what we got, or something. I hope we pretty much get the full thing, honestly, if I had a choice. But that is so awesome looking. And yeah, that is a regular secret. That's not 20th anniversary. So, wow, okay. <laughs> that looks really good. I'm going to set that to the side. I can't believe I, I got one. Good. I was hoping. I was like, because I want to get them all. Obviously. Don't we Don't we all want to get those uh, new cards like that? They all look so cool. Another one of the Cubics. I think that one's Vulcan for some reason. That sounds familiar. Um, yeah, that's another one. It's like Dark Horizon, I think. Then also uh, Chocolate Magician Girl. And... Then we, oh yeah, we got the new version of Gaia, or, you know, movie version. I, I keep wanting to say new. These aren't new. <laughs> it's been out for a while, Dark Side of Dimensions has. But yeah, it's the, the version of Gaia that we got from that. So cool. But just not new. <laughs> I always want to say that. It's like, no. All right. Another cubic. 
Then it's like, that's the Magician Girl card, obviously. Forget the full name. Then another one of Gaia. And Sin Cross. I think that's our second one, too. So another cool looking uh, Secret Rare. Not bad. And we, oh no, we have two more packs. Okay, I thought we were down to one. All right, two more left. So we still have some more chances. Let's see. Because I was kind of sad that we were getting down to the end. I want more chances. All right, another one of the Cubics. Kind of hard to see that one's picture. It's <laughs> so shiny. Then a uh, Cubic Mandala, I think. Then a uh, Gandora. There you go. There's like the Dark Side Dimensions Gandora. And then uh, another one of the Cubics, obviously. I'll, I guess I'll look up the name. Unification of the Cubic Lords is its name. Still cool. I mean, I've played Cubics before. They're a lot of fun. I just don't have all their names memorized, unfortunately. But yeah, we are down to our last pack. Okay, what can we end with? Can we end with a 20th anniversary secret rare? Because I don't believe we have, unless I've made some kind of error, which I'm going to double check myself to make sure I didn't do something stupid. But let's see what we can end with. Okay. Oh, already good start. Effect failure. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Then um, Malefic Red Eyes. Super Polymerization. And we are ending with uh, Malefic uh, Rainbow Dragon. So yeah, unfortunately that is not a 20th anniversary card. But you know what? That's pretty cool because I don't think I have a Japanese version of this card. So I'll take it. It's kind of cool that they have their different names on it. I went ahead and sorted everything to make sure I didn't miss anything. And uh, yeah, let's have a recap of our secret rares then too. Because I want to I make sure I didn't you know put them in the other pile. Anyway, we have our Red Eyes Alternate Black Dragon. Still really happy about this one. Only thing is, I'm going to have to get another one of these boxes because... I want to get the other new cards too. But I am glad I got pretty much the main one I wanted, which is Red Eyes, because I I'm a Red Eyes fanboy. So <laughs> I, I gotta admit. And then, yeah, for everything else here, it's like the rest of our secret rares. We got some really cool cards. A lot of the new ones in this, and also some just cool reprints. I mean, like Link Kribo <laughs> right there too. Some of these movie pack cards, though, I wish that some of them were, you know, like other things would take the place of them. But. You know, just because we've seen a lot of these been over here, but maybe they're tough to get in Japan, so maybe it makes a little bit more sense for them. Uh, I am glad, though, I got Bond Between Teacher and Student. I thought that was a, a cool-looking card. That's one I've always wanted from the show. And, uh, yeah, so there's a recap. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Also, uh, like I said, be sure to let me know if you'd like to see another unboxing of this set because I really want to get t some of the 20th Seeker Rares and, of course, like I said, a lot of the new cards. So let me know if you guys like to see some of that. And also, uh, yeah, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out because YouTube might not notify you. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.